Hey there, welcome to Divine Guidance by Sage. I am Sage the Intuitive and I am here to do a timeless love reading for the sign of Leo. So we're just going to go in and see what messages come out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and also leave me a comment. I am available for private readings and information is in the description box. So again, for the sign of Leo, we are going to see what's going to come in in regards to love. These messages are timeless and this is for sun moon rising and venus and take take the messages as they resonate they may be um, for you or they may be for the person that you're thinking of or dealing with um and if it's not your story you know check out your other placements in your chart for other messages but if it doesn't fit don't try to make it fit all right so let's get started for the sign of leo what do we have for the sign of leo please Okay, for the sign of Leo, so we have deception. Someone is not being honest or withholding information. So I feel like um, exactly that someone here had not been honest in your connection. And this is why the first card out was deception. So we're going to clarify why that is there and then trust a need to trust in the divine plan at this time regardless of the external so someone here needs to trust the process i know that someone has been deceiving you but you need to trust the process um because the divine has a plan up their sleeve let's see let's see if we can get one more card for the sign of leo too many one more card please for the sign of leo okay so i was given two more cards so the first one is destiny and divine time that's exactly what i just said that uh, whatever was happening here was meant to happen when it happened um someone here needs to trust the process and then recharge retreat now for important self-care so someone here definitely needs to take some time to themselves so that they can um they can um you know get their mind right get your mind right again to to see what it is that you need for yourself and not so much for someone else let's let's see and clarify why this deception card was here sign of leo why is deception here So this this person could potentially be your twin flame or a um, higher level of a soulmate if you do not do believe in ten, twin flames um, so this could have been deception from a twin flame here what else someone here could have been rejected uh, rejected by a twin flame someone felt some type of loss and that was probably potentially due to whatever this deception was this deception could have happened in the winter time for some of you guys um or this could mean that in the winter time some of you guys are going to go through some sort of rebirth but um anything else about why this deception is here whoever deceived you or if you deceive someone um they definitely felt a lot of um rejection and um abandonment issues i think that this, this situation that you were um in with your twin flame which usually is like this with twin flames there was a lot of attraction there was a lot of um intimacy and sexual energy between you and this person but this person um deceived you or you deceived this person let's see why um trust is here Why is trust here for the sign of Leo? Okay, so I got a bunch of cards that came out and I tried to put them back and it came out again. So we're gonna, I guess this is this is meant for me to pull. So for for trust, um 
this is saying that you need to trust in the divine because you're going through some type of awakening right now and um so the divine is behind all of this so you need to trust the plan that is happening even though um it does not feel good you may be getting some type of messages or some type of communication um I feel like this is communications from your spirit guys, from, from your angels, from the divine. I don't necessarily feel that this is, um, these are messages from a particular person. I feel like these are messages, um, that are coming from the higher, the higher realms. This could be in the signs and signs and synchronicities. Um, you're seeing repeating numbers, things of that nature, um, especially coming with this awakening and it's saying to trust the process because in the autumn time, you are going to receive some type of harvest coming into your life so again you need to just go ahead and trust this process um also you're going through again with a re awakening you're going through some type of renewal so things are going to spark for you um especially with this um lead this being a fire reading with the spark this this is saying to me like this is some type of fiery um thing that is happening with you you being a um a fire sign and also the divine is saying you need to be open to receive this is what what you have to be open you have to be open to receive what it is that the divine is bringing towards you so you have to trust this plan because the divine is going to bring you something amazing and you have to be open for it open to that what is why is destiny here Someone here at some point was in their ego. Someone was was very prideful. Um, I also feel that this is a Leo card. Um, thinking about, um, what I'm thinking of pride. I'm thinking of the strength card with the lion on it. Um, so someone here was definitely in their ego. They were worried about um, things, um, things, uh, you know, more material things, vanity. Um, how people looked, how things looked, how, how they felt, whatever felt good to them for that moment. So that's why we're in their ego. Um, I also came up, the next card that came up was distance or retreat. So again, some, this may have caused some type of distance between you and your person and a person that you're thinking about again with that divine time. And I honestly do not like the, the word divine timing, but it is what it is. Um, somebody here is getting some type of clarity and um that's why this destiny card is here someone is getting some type of clarity their third eye is opening um whatever it is that you did not know before you are finally becoming clear on it because you may have been coming becoming clear because of some type of deception we talked about that here deception came out again so again this is saying that for sure someone here was deceived um absolutely but um i do feel like there's there are some type of change that is um coming anything else for this destiny card abundance so someone here is going to be abundant regardless so regardless of everything that's going on you are going to be abundant it is your destiny to have abundance in regards to love and in life um so just have gratitude at this particular time maybe these things yeah obviously deception is not fun but again there was a reason why all of these things played out the way that they played out so let's go into um recharge and as I lifted up the deck for recharging, it's talking about retreat now for self-care under the deck was self-care before I even started shuffling. My eyes went straight to this card. This is about um, self-care. And I'm going to put it here because these go together. Some of you guys need to take some time to focus on self, focus on the things that make you feel good. Maybe you need to meditate more. Maybe, maybe you need to pray more, but um, it's time to focus on your on yourself. You need to move away from any type of feelings of guilt or self-sabotage. Someone else could have been feeling like they um, are feeling guilty. But I feel like this is you. You need to take take some time to do some type of self-care 
ritual for yourself, maybe um, taking, um, you know, cleansing baths, uh, meditating, doing some sound healing, whatever it is, because you having some feelings of um, guilt, potentially, I'm also feeling abandonment. And then you also are feeling some type of a lack. And those things need to be taken care of. And that is probably why it's guiding you to say that you need to recharge because these things are um, things that need to be purged and healed in order for you to move forward. But definitely these things happen because of the events of um, everything that's happened in your life when it came to relationships. And again, you need to trust in the process. All of this could have happened so that it can get you to a point where you can worry about yourself. Because in the past, you didn't feel in control. You felt like somebody was playing with your mind. Somebody was playing uh, mind, mind games with you. So again, you need to reconnect with yourself to understand what it is that you need for, for yourself. Here we go again. So we had self-care twice, self-love. So this is, again, about taking time for yourself, giving yourself the self-love and care and compassion that you need. Once you do that, you're able to move forward because this deception all is going to bring you out. So bring you out into something even more beautiful and um, and and healing for your for your situation. And it is going to make make for a better um, um, for a better life when it comes to relationships because you were dealing with someone who was very cold and detached um, whoever this twin flame was they were not um, emotionally there for you so you were dealing with someone who was that way but guess what you came to an epiphany that you knew that this is what this was what was happening you came to a breakthrough and it is time for you to go ahead and break through all of these things that are no longer serving you and once you do all of that this is your reward you are going to get either a reunion if you're desiring to be with your twin flame a reunion will come and they're going to come to you better you just have to make yourself better or you're going to get in some type of relationship with someone that is your your soul um counterpart someone that has a soul tie with you so i think that once you focus on this self-care part of your life um, and kind of release all of those things that are no longer serving you, you will get what it is that you deserve. You will get what you want. These things happen the way that they were supposed to happen to push you into a better position in love and life. I hope that this is helpful for you, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment. You guys take care and be safe.